everybody. Thank you for listening to Wake Up, Look Up, a podcast where we connect events happening in real time to the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm Zach Wyrock. And in this episode, we're asking what should be an obvious question. Can't we agree on killing babies? Listen, this is coming from an article on third trimester abortions. Uh, third trimester abortions are abortions that happen, obviously, in the latest stages of pregnancies, oftentimes including a baby that is eight or nine months uh, old in utero. It's an incredible, incredibly awful and barbaric practice that almost no one can argue doesn't involve killing an actual human baby. Now, I want to be clear on something here. Uh, I believe what the Bible teaches to be true, that life begins at conception, and that terminating a pregnancy at any time for any reason involves taking a life. Uh, but even those who would disagree with me on first trimester pregnancies could never argue that a child in utero for nine months isn't actually a human baby. And you're speaking to someone, well, I guess I'm speaking to you, who was born two months premature. So perhaps maybe I'm uniquely passionate about this because you're talking about terminating a pregnancy after I would have already been born. And here's the thing, a pro-choice advocates, when they're arguing for abortions, will say that late-term abortions are rare, almost never happening, that when pro-life people such as myself make the argument that abortion should be outlawed, especially in the latter stages of a pregnancy, we're told we're making a mountain out of a molehill, that we're taking something that never happens and building a case out of it. But here's the thing, it does happen. And tracking the numbers is hard because for obvious reasons, abortion providers aren't putting out their data on late-term abortions. They don't want people to know how often they're happening, but sometimes the data gets through, which is why I can tell you that 137 third trimester abortions happened in Colorado last year. That's awful. 137 babies were murdered when they would have been viable had the mother gone into labor at that point. And not only is that awful, but here's the thing, Colorado is one of eight other states that, that make have made legal third trimester abortion, states that we don't have the data for, including including, by the way, also the District of Columbia where this happens. So who knows? The number could be over a thousand. That is not as rare as we've been led to believe. And you might say, well, wait a minute. Most third trimester abortions are done for medical reasons. Uh, they're not just women choosing not to have the baby, but that isn't true. In fact, the article that I read cited one abortion provider as saying that 50% of third trimester abortions are otherwise healthy pregnancies, which means at bare minimum, if a thousand babies were terminated at that stage in the United States last year, that 500 of them were perfectly healthy. There was no medical reason for terminating the pregnancy. This is a horrific and barbaric action that must be made illegal and must stop. It's awful. It's heinous. Full stop. But it's also a path forward for the pro-life community, for those of us who believe that the commandment, you shall not kill, applies to babies. Because most Americans agree that third trimester abortions are awful. For example, two-thirds of Americans, unfortunately, believe that first trimester abortion should be legal for any reason. But that number drops precipitously to 22% when you ask Americans if they approve of late-term abortions, meaning this is an area on which we can build common ground. Eight out of 10 Americans agree this is a horrific practice. So while I'd love to make abortion illegal in every instance, in every place, I might not be able to do that politically today. What I can do is build common ground around late-term abortions. By the way, this is already the practice in Western Europe, where first trimester abortions, again, unfortunately, are legal for any reason. But late-term abortions are not legal, except for in cases of extreme medical difficulty. So Europe, which tends to be more liberal than the United States, has already agreed that late-term abortions are barbaric and 
should stop. Listen, I know I come off as passionate about this I am. That's because children should be defended. The Bible makes clear that God knits us together in the womb, that children are a blessing, that murder is wrong. But also, let me tell you this. Uh, My mom and dad met in college. They had gone on four dates when my mom got pregnant. She was the junior class president of her college. She was the captain of the cheerleading squad. She had every reason in the world to terminate her pregnancy. But I'm so glad that right now I'm speaking to hundreds, if not thousands of people, because she realized that it was a life growing inside of her. My mom made a courageous decision that involved seven months of carrying me. All the more when we're talking about a woman who has a child ready to be born, living inside of her. Listen, as Christians, we need to speak out against this. We need to champion this cause. We need to build common ground, even with our non-Christian neighbors, and protect babies who are alive and ready to enter the world. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. While you're here, we'd love to ask you to hit subscribe or to like so you get future content. If you listen to the audio version too, make sure you leave a review and a comment that really helps. Consider sharing it on social media and helping us get the word out. And hey, while you're here, check out all the other content that Christ Community Chapel is putting out, including the videos that are around me right now.